Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I have another limit question for you guys. But this time, it's more like solving an equation. Because you see, we are given that this limit is equal to e, and you see that we are trying to find out what a is. So this is much more interesting because we're not just trying to compute the limit, but rather, as I said, it's like solving an equation in terms of a limit. And you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Cool. I will tell you guys what the answer is though. I will tell you that a is equal to one half. Right? This way you don't have to go to the end of the video. It's right here. It's right here. Don't, don't go, please. Just just watch a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. But anyway though, let me let me show you guys how I approach this. How I approach this. So here's the deal. We have the limit as x approaching infinity, and then end up with e and over there. We should just go over there. I want to kind of take a look at the definition of e in terms of a limit. So I will write this down right here for you guys. Note, all right? If today we have the limit, and let me just use t. You guys will see why later, because I'm going to do a change of variable. If we have 1 plus 1 over t raised to the t's power like so, this right here will give us the number e. And um, it's kind of similar. If you look at the structure, so my goal is somehow break this apart to match this form and hopefully this can give us some information and we can figure out what A is. I know A is one half already. <laughs> but anyway though, let's see how we can do it. First off, inside here we have x plus A over x minus A. We don't want that. We want to have a 1 right here. But we are lucky because this is just x and this is also x. So we can do a polynomial long division. Or you can also just do this, check this out. Because we have x plus a over x minus a, what I want to do is, on the top here, I also want to see the x minus a part. Because that way when I divide, I will just get 1. But I'm changing the whole thing. Right? This is plus a, this is not minus a, no good. Don't worry, I'm just going to add 2a to it. So now they are the same. So all in all, what I'm trying to say is we have 1 plus this over that for the inside. So now, just look at this, right? Just don't look at the e. Just look at this. We have the limit as x approaching infinity. And for the inside, we will just have 1 plus that yeah, this is the 1 and then a over that. 2a over that, technically. 2a over x minus a and then to the x power. So that's what we have. Well, if you would like, Polynomial division take a uh, three seconds. Alright. Cool. What's next though? Well, you see here we have two terms, right? X minus A. We don't want that either. So let's go ahead and do a change of variable because we just want to have a variable here. So that's why I use T. Eh? Let's put T to be X minus A. And then right here, I can solve for x, which is just going to be t plus a. And this is good because when x is approaching infinity, we can put it here, t will also be approaching infinity. Because infinity minus a real number is still infinity. a is not infinity. Okay. So here we go. This right here is just going to be the limit. Change the x to t, and it will go to infinity as well. And then we have 1 plus. And here we have the 2a over the bottom is t, and then the x is t plus a. Good. Now you see it's almost the same, except for we have t plus a here in the exponent. Don't worry, we can just break this apart as this to the t's power times this to the a's power. So I'm going to write it down like this right here. Limit t approaching infinity 1 plus 2a over t raised to the t's power times 1 plus 2a over t raised to the a's power. Why did I leave a space here? Because the limit of a product is the same as the product of this limit and that limit, provided that under the assumption that they both exist. So I'm just going to put down the limit right here as t goes to infinity, and I'm going to investigate this a little bit first. 
this is actually not bad at all. It's just one. Because when we put the infinity to here, we get 1 plus 2a over infinity raised to some number a. This right here is just 0, so we can say that this is just 1 plus 0 to the a's power. And then 1 plus 0 is just 1. And then raised to the a's power, it doesn't really matter what a is, because a we know it's just, it's not infinity. This is just a real number. This right here for sure will give us 1. So the red part is just 1. All right. Now, for the part in black right here, what do we do? It's almost the same as the part in blue, except for one part. Here we have 2a. Here we have 1. Aha! As I told you, this is the connection that we can make. We want to make sure that 2a is equal to 1. So let me just put it down right here, because now we can just have this right here being equal to e, under the assumption that if 2a is equal to 1. Of course, this means a is equal to 1 half. And we are done. Just like that. So, that's it. I wonder if we can somehow make this more challenging or crazier. Uh, maybe we can put, I like, say, ln_x here, ln_x here. You guys can give it a try. Well, maybe we can instead of the x power, we can put a like square root of x power or ln_x power or e to the x power. I don't know, but I think this is. You guys can let me know what else you can come up with. But I think this is pretty good, and you guys can check out my other math videos for more videos like this or calculus tutorials to help you with calculus class. So I'll see you guys over there.